What is the difference between becoming a confident investor and a gambler? In this video, I wanna show you how you can safeguard against uncertainties, understand risk management to build wealth and financial freedom as a confident investor. It is true that investing in stocks can help you build your wealth and financial freedom, but there's a lot of misunderstanding around the stock market. The first thing that I wanna tell you is that if you're solely focused on creating money, you will never make it as a stock investor or trader. Unfortunately, when it comes to investing, most rookie investors only think about the profiting side of things. They get caught up with the hype of other people's success stories. I mean, this comes as no surprise. With the huge and large volume of online videos and ads these days, basically self-made millionaires who supposedly made it big and transformed their lives overnight or within a short period of time through stock investing and trading. These people are often easy to spot, showing off their lavish lifestyles, filled with all the luxuries in life that has to offer, such as fancy Lamborghinis, big mansions and private jets, a phenomenon I jokingly refer to as financial porn. As a result, rookie investors who fall for the lure and promise of get rich quick overnight financial freedom can therefore end up learning and implementing some very risky stock investing strategies that generally involve some form of margin lending or leverage that is, borrowing money to invest. Some people ask me, what about more conservative stock investors? The ones who are more conscious of financial porn and doubtful of risky get rich quick strategies. From my experience, they're just as susceptible to placing too much emphasis on profit rather than preserving their capital. And this is evident with all the rookie investors who profited from the 2020 bull market. It is true that stocks are one of the most risky types of investments if you don't know what you're doing. A stock can go up or down in value very quickly. And if you're not careful, you can lose a lot of money. That's why true stock investors and traders focus on the loss prevention first and foremost. They know that if they can protect their capital, the profits will take care of itself. It is a very different mindset from that of gamblers who are only focused on making money. For them, it's all about the thrill of the win and the high of making money. They're not thinking about how to preserve their capital or minimize their losses. The bottom line is, if you wanna be a successful stock investor or trader, you need to focus on the loss prevention first and foremost. I always say that profits should be a byproduct of good risk management rather than the sole focus. So what are some of the things that you can do to prevent losses when investing or trading stocks? Generally speaking, there are four key ways to prevent losses in the stock market. The first is to diversify your portfolio. Don't put all your eggs in the one basket. When you diversify your portfolio, you're spreading out your risk over different stocks and asset classes. This way, if one stock takes a hit, it's not gonna have as big of an impact on your overall portfolio value. The second is to use stop loss orders. A stop loss order is an order placed with a broker to buy or sell a stock when it reaches a certain point. This is a great way to limit your losses on a stock that you're holding because once the stop loss price is reached, your broker will automatically sell the stock, limiting your loss. This isn't always guaranteed to happen though, as there are scenarios in which stop loss orders cannot activate in time. Thirdly, you wanna utilize position sizing. This is a risk management technique that refers to the number of shares or contracts that you take on in a single trade. It is important to position size correctly so that you don't risk too much on any one trade or investment. And fourthly, have a plan. Before you even start investing or trading stocks, make sure you have a plan in place. This plan should include investment goals, risk tolerance, and exit strategies. By having a plan, you'll be less likely to make impulsive decisions that can end up costing you money. No one has ever become a successful investor overnight. It takes time, patience, and a lot of hard work to make it as a stock investor or trader. But it is still one of the most prominent investments that you can make and can give you a result of 10 to 20% per year if you follow a proven method. Well, I followed the system, but I was adding a few things myself and made a few little errors. But I think, again, that's where Terry's come in. You know, you can have a chat with him, you can email him, and you'll sort of just break it down to where you've gone right and wrong. I'm currently sitting on an 18% return on investment, which I'm absolutely stoked with, considering I burnt an account in like under two years, 10 years ago. It's, um, yeah, it's, it's absolutely amazing. I'm absolutely loving it. Terry's rule number one is don't lose money. And it's just entering it from a different spectrum. I don't risk money anymore. I used to gamble, like roll a dice and I'd get a tip and I'd go and put my money on that tip and hope that it would go up. What Terry's taught me is wait to see a downturn in the economy, which means there's a negative news like Brexit. And because I'd learned the system up till now, trading paper, and all of a sudden the, the whole share market dropped down. Terry came out saying, guys, time to go shopping. Everyone else was freaking out and selling and, and we're coming in and buying and then it just went, it was just like this wave and it popped back out. And I literally made 20% like that. He has a genuine interest to help people. 
For me, he's just so passionate about what he does and just drew me in like bang. The key to success in this field is loss prevention. By understanding what can go wrong and minimizing your risk, you will be better positioned to make consistent profits in the market. If you can focus on loss prevention and follow these strategies, you'll be well on your way to becoming a successful stock investor or trader. Remember, profits should be a byproduct of good risk management, not the sole focus. So keep that in mind as you begin your journey in the stock market.